Hello, my name is Mike. I'm from uh, the wonderful town of Shelby Township, Michigan. And if you're in our market for an RV, this one may to be considered. This is a 1993 Prowler. And we are the second owners. We've owned this, this RV for the last 23 years. So we've uh, gone a lot of places with it. It's been a great family uh, we have, for RV. We've had, there's four of us. I have a wife and two daughters. And uh, it's been like part of the family. So we are putting it up for sale. And we've done a lot to take care of it over the years. And it's got some neat features. And I want to give you a few minutes here to, to show it to you. So um, let's go take a look real quick. We'll start with the outside. You can see this is uh, this is aluminum, so it's held its condition really good. One of the advantages of aluminum, I say, versus the fiberglass is that the decals don't peel off like they do on the, the fiberglass. On the fiberglass, and this is actually easier to maintain. You give it a wash a couple times a year. You don't have to wax it. It holds its own very well. Um, storage unit. Keep a lot of our chairs and fishing rods and other stuff. This does go all the way through to the other side, so you do have a fair amount of storage in here. Um, you got some neat features on the outside here. This is actually a uh, outdoor, what I call my outdoor entertainment center. So you got this little shelf that comes out of here like this, pops down, and uh, you got your hookups here. You got a 12 volt hookup. You actually have a TV antenna hookup. So if you want to watch TV out here or you're playing a movie or something, you can do that. If you got, if you're in a park where you have cable, this trailer is uh, wired for cable TV, not a problem. And then you also have a couple of hookups for speakers that. It's, it's wired to the entertainment center on the inside. So if you're playing music on the inside, you, you actually there's two speakers, uh, a little old, but they, they work and you hook them up outside, you can listen to music. Also has two 110 power plugs. So if you want to hook up a TV or VCR or whatever, you can do that. Just want to get a quick point on these tires. This tire, this trailer always was designated to have a, a load. They're a 205 R15s. They, they looked, the load rate was always a, was a rating what they call uh, a, a C uh, wall. A load rate C, which is the thickness of the wall. These are actually upgraded. These are a D wall, so they're a heavier wall. Um, I'll tell you the two things. If you're looking at getting the RV, the two big things I always tell people is you got to maintain the roof and you got to watch your tires. Tires are good for about five years. If you go longer than that, you're just kind of playing Russian roulette. I've, I've blown a couple of tires when the tires have gotten five years or older, and I've learned that regardless how they look, you, know, you change those tires, get new tires every five years. And there are some better versus uh, poorer ones that are out there. So, but uh, these are a little heavier duty and they, they've done well the last three years. And I just put air in them and they lost like four or five pounds of pressure for the whole, whole entire year, which my other ones, uh, you know, I have to fill them every three or four times a year when we're going chips. And they tell you, you got to keep those tire pressures at the right level. So um, coming around back here, uh, with the spare tire. And uh, one of the nice features I like about this trailer is this, uh, it has this hitch on here. And this is pretty heavy duty. It's welded and bolted to the frame. It comes with wiring. And this is great if you want to uh, pull a fishing boat behind you. You can easily pull like an 18 foot uh, fishing pole, uh, fishing boat. Um, in Michigan, you're allowed to pull up to total length. So like truck, RV, tra uh, boat, RV, or a, uh, say a, uh, um, a four wheeler trailer behind you, you're allowed 75 feet. So. Um, this has uh, been great. I, I, I own a four-wheeler with a 6x12 trailer. I've towed people's fishing boats up there multiple times up north, and uh, it comes in real handy. Uh, one thing about Michigan law, and take note of this, a lot of RVs won't have this, is that if you have a trailer behind you, you're supposed to have chains going to the outside frame. So if you look under here, I've put the hooks on there. So if you get the chains, the hooks are already there, and you'll just be street legal. So. You see, you see people pulling boats and stuff up, but most of them do not have those chains on there. So this is uh, this is ready for the chains. Coming around, we do have an outside shower here. Um, it has both cold and hot water. It's great uh, if you're out by the beach, rinse the sand off. If you got a dog that gets something, he's rolling around something dead he shouldn't have been. Um, it's great. You don't have to bring him in. You can get get all the most of the worst stuff out out here. Um, this. It comes out here like this, and you've got a little spot to hold the thing. This right here is a vent, vent for, uh, we have a blower above the stove, um, and you know, cooking something, again, small, you flip on the, the uh, fan, and it, it blows out here. So there's also levers to keep that closed when you're traveling. So this is for your fridge. Um, <clears throat> this is for the fridge. Sometimes it's good to take this off every couple of years, and there's a pilot in there, because the fridge runs off 110 and propane. So. Um, 
sometimes it's good to take it off because you, you can see the propane light in there just to keep the cobwebs out so there's no problem with the propane light um, lighting. I have not had a problem with this fridge at all with that lighting. So this is the vent for the furnace. Uh, I can tell you that I um, had an issue with it a couple years ago. I pulled the furnace out myself, took it in, they cleaned the whole thing. It, was, it wasn't lighting. So ever since then, it's been working great. Last year I went hunting. Uh, the second day after opening day, it was three degrees in the morning. This thing uh, just ran like a top. And uh, I was as snug as a bug in a rug on the inside when it was three degrees outside. So um, we'll talk about the polar package here. One of, one of the nice features about this trailer is it has what they call a black water tank flush. And this in the day was pretty rare. So what this does is like if you're getting ready to go dump, you just hook up your hose in here, let it run for two or three minutes. Even if you get five or six gallons of fresh water in there, it'll loosen everything up and it, it, everything com comes out a lot better. So water is your friend in a black water tank. Okay, so you can do this before or right before you dump, either way, but if you want, you just hook up a hose. And uh, if you're not too familiar with camping at the dump station, you the hose they have those hoses on the big, big uh, poles there, and you can pull that down and just hook it right up here. If you just let it run for a couple minutes, you'll get enough water in there to get a good flush. So, um, this is also a little storage area here. I used to keep all my electrical stuff in here, so all the power cords, I got a surge protector, extension cords. So I'll keep that in there. This is uh, your propane tanks. You have two 30 gallon propane tanks. Typically, this will last you all summer if you make four or five trips. Uh, if I go up in the winter and in November for hunting for a week, this is enough to run that furnace the whole week. So I might go through one tank, but I've never gone through two and run out. So it also comes with uh, tight covers for your tires. So that's included as well with the unit. So uh, this is the front. It does have a power jack. It wasn't always standard back in the day. It does have a backup, so if you ever have a problem, you, you, have, you have a thing in here, you can put it in here and just crank it, and it'll make it go up and down manually. That's your backup, so. But uh, I rebuilt the motor and replaced the gears uh, a couple of years ago, so it, uh, it works great, no issues with that. Again, just to reiterate, as it sits, it's about 6,000 pounds, should be told by virtually any half-ton pickup truck, and uh, it'll be even easier if you have a Ford, but I digress. So we have a uh, just a little convenient coat rack right here. Uh, we just one of those things you can add. You can always add things to make things more convenient for you. So when you come in, if it's raining out, you got a jacket, or, or if you got hats or whatever you want to take off, just convenient to uh, just hang it up right here. So just a little thing that didn't come with it, but we added it and we use it in every trip. So one of those things that makes this camper unique as well is one of the features which I love because I do some fall camping and hunting, as I mentioned, is that it has what they call a thermal package. And uh, I want to come around in here and uh, I'm going to swing around. What this has is actually what they call storm windows. And uh, this is a rare find. And today, if you go to buy a new unit and you want storm windows, good luck. And I can tell you that for anything by $30,000 or $40,000, you're going to be uh, hard pressed to find something with storm windows. So you can leave them in, you can pull them out. There, there's room for them to storm under the bed up there, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, that, that is a great feature. It really, it keeps the condensation down. If you're familiar with that, if you have like a, where it's really cold in the morning and you're nice and warm in here, these windows are really condensate. And that's common for any RV that really cuts down on that. And yeah, I got, as one who's been a lot of time in the cold weather in the fall, I can really feel that it is warmer in here. So um, I love that feature and it's unique to uh, most RVs today. So if you need to notice the floor here, uh, this camper fifth wheel originally had mauve carpeting in it. And so we removed all the carpeting, it was removed, we put this parquet flooring in here. We have a couple of throw rugs just when you walk in and by the stove here, in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. But um, <clears throat> it's really great to clean up, it's very durable, especially if you got pets or kids bringing in dirt. You just pick up the rugs, you take them outside, you shake them, you can wash them, we do that, we do that as well. And you can sweep it out, it takes you less than five minutes and your floor is clean. So works out great, very durable. This is a fridge, it's a six cubic foot fridge. It is not the original fridge. Um, when this unit was built in the mid 90s, 1993, um, they, they had some issues with the fridges and after like 10, 12 years, they would, the coils would break and you get that smell of ammonia and your fridge was done. So I replaced it and the people I've talked to in the business over the years uh, told me that in the mid 90s, they were having issues with it. And, but the new ones that they, they kind of got a hand around the problem and this fridge has been great works, uh, it switches automatically from electric to propane. So if you unplug and you're camping, you're going home, it'll switch the propane automatically for you. It does have a thermostatic control on it and uh, <clears throat> no issues with the, with the service with it. 
One thing I'll mention too is that when I talk to people about this unit, kind of kind of laugh says, yeah, I got a really old one. And when you talk, when I talk to people in the industry, they they they've always I hear many people throw comments at me and say, oh, you got one of the well built units. And so, you know, we've had little problems over the years with it, but the frame is solid, the walls are good, and this thing's been towed everywhere from Florida to Myrtle Beach to Prince Edward Island to Yellowstone, and. Uh, you couldn't tell any difference on the inside. So from that standpoint, it is a quality bill unit. It's older. You know, you need some TLC as far as the maintenance. But overall, I have no complaints about it. It's been great. And it's like been part of our family for the last 23 years. So we got a full microwave here. This works uh, very well. No issues with it. Uh, you got a stove and you got an oven. I actually have used the oven a fair amount. You know, you want to make biscuits or rolls, it works great. You got a four burner top. The four burner top, you will be very hard pressed to find today in, in today's new units. They're basically three, sometimes two. So this has a four burner unit, which is very rare today for any kind of uh, new RV. Um, this, this fixture here is, uh, um, is newer. We've only had this in three years. We replaced the original one. This was like a $65 unit. I just bought it at Home Depot and hooked it up, but it's got all um, copper components in it. The other one was plastic and it was leaking. That's why we replaced it. So. Um, the water pumps were replaced about two years ago. No issues with that. Um, this here is a table that does, it folds down into a bed. So, um, and, and then we also have storage under here. So, uh, extra storage there. Uh, back here we got more storage, um, keeping like sleeping bags, electric heaters, whatever you want to put back here. You know, it's a pretty, pretty decent spot. Um, these, all these cabinets, lots of storage up here. So, George about the fridge and you got a nice little pantry here too so there's multiple shelves in here so you can put a fair amount of food in here so one of the things we wanted to I'll also put out to do to let you know that what comes with this is kind of the entertainment area here so what is nice about it is that you can sit in this chair move it back or sit on the couch and you all got a good angle at the tv a lot of rvs today if you look at them they have a couch sitting here and then you gotta look 90 degrees one way to look at the tv but the way this is kind of set up is wherever you sit Got an easy way to look at it. It does come with this TV, so this is a nice 32-inch uh, flat screen, and uh, with a with a Blu-ray player. So, um, you know, if you if you got a rainy night or bad weather, sometimes pop a movie in, or if you got cable in the park where you're at, or if you're able to get uh, local service, you know, there's some options for you too. So, so that that is included with the unit as well. We want to go up to the bathroom here. Um, you know, one of the other nice features about this unit, it has what this is called a fantastic fan. This is what it's called back in the day. So it's a fan that has um, three different speeds on it, and it can suck the air out, it can pull, pull the air in, and uh, it has a thermostat on it, basically. You have a dial here, so if you want to set the temperature to shut off during the night when it gets so cold, it'll stop. <clears throat> um, it also has a very nice feature that if you are um, going out during the day and it starts to rain, it has what it calls a rain sensor that when it starts to rain this will automatically shut off and close so um, and another nice feature we like too is that it runs off 12 volt um, if you're dry camping uh, you don't have any electricity you can run this all night if you got a little bit of a warm night we've done that multiple times it does not hardly do very much to the battery at all it does not draw a lot of voltage especially on the, the low speed but it will to pull the cool air in your windows and it's just uh, something we've used a lot over the year it's a very nice feature so um, we do have a new, newer updated fixture here in the bathroom um, versus the old plastic one. Works really great. I use this shower a lot. It's always nice to use your own shower versus the public ones. So um, that's great. Um, we also have an updated toilet here. Um, this is uh, not the original. The original had a thing where you had to pull in the back, and this has a pedal flush, which uh, virtually all the new ones have. Very nice, nice upgrade. And what I like about this too is that yeah, you have that uh, sh um, shelf space, you have countertop space. A lot of the new ones, they'll just have a sink and I look at it, I'm like, where do you put your toothbrush, your brush? Uh, but this, this is one of the nice features, it does have this. So um, <clears throat> lots of room for first aid or toiletries or bug spray, suntan lotion, all the stuff you need for camping. You have posing closets here, it's kind of a he and a she closet. Um, works. Uh, put, a, put a lot of uh, jackets and pants and all kinds of clothes or whatever. In the bedroom here we have a uh, full-size queen. Um, this is not what they call an RV queen, which is a lot of times six inches shorter on the mattress. So it's a full-size queen. And uh, I believe it's a good 78 inches in length. 
and the regular width of a queen, which is about, um, I believe it's 70 inches, 60 inches, so it's 60 by 78 inches. So if you have sheets at home, um, you'll, you'll just buy your own sheets. Uh, we, we, it will, we do plan on leaving the uh, bedspread. And uh, one thing, it's an older mattress, but uh, I'll just show you real quick. It does have a, uh, a topper on it, a mattress topper. So it uh, provides a little more comfort. So with that, it does have a little shelving on each side for his and her, keep your watch, phone, whatever. There are outlets in here too as well, if you wanna charge. What, one big thing I gotta tell you about beforehand, it's right here on the wall. Uh, we have solar panels on the roof. We have 150 watts of solar panels. Uh, they do a great job of charging the batteries, especially if you're dry camping. And this here is uh, it, it's a uh, control converter. So what it does is it monitors the amount of uh, watts coming in from the solar panels and it, it sends it out to the batteries. But what's nice about it is that it has what's it called a smart charger. So when the batteries get topped off, it backs off charging the batteries. If you don't have that, what happens is you can kind of cook your batteries. The batteries are wet batteries for RVs and it'll kind of boil the water out. And drop the water level and you got to be careful with that what's nice about this if you got it in storage you don't have to worry about shutting the batteries off it'll automatically go to a trickle charge keep them topped off and so whenever you need your, your unit um, the batteries will be fully charged so this is a big upgrade if you're doing the dry camping it's it's nice to have it's all wired it shows a display about how much is coming in what percentage of the batteries are at so um, that's that's another nice feature about this unit so if you're, in, if you're interested, uh, dry camping, wet camping, if you're first time RVing as a family, you don't want to, you're not sure for what we're asking for the unit, you get a lot, a lot of comforts, great for families. Uh, if you want to do the excess thing, go fishing, pull a four wheeler, go camping in a state land, dry camping, a lot of great uh, federal parks and state forest campgrounds don't have electricity. So bringing it up, being a generator is an option, but to see solar panels can really help you um, keep those battery chargers and if you have an inverter you can run we run toasters we run blenders we run the 110 lights we run we've even run the microwave for a few minutes with the inverter so and the, with the solar panels it tops the batteries off and it gives you the flexibility to do that so this also has air conditioning and uh, just just ran it about three hours ago it's running great never had a problem with it in the 23 years we've owned this and if you're wondering how I ran it, we do have a 30 amp outlet in our garage, so it was able to handle the air conditioner and test it out. So I want to make sure you're aware that the air conditioner works fine. Everything in this unit that uh, we talked about works. Um, so if you have any questions, we'll have a, there'll be a phone number, prices listed on there. And again, it's a 1993 Prowler, and hope you're interested, give me a call. Thanks.